What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. So about two months ago, I passed my AZ-104 Microsoft Administrator Certification. And while I was studying for that, just like I mentioned in my other AWS video, while I was studying for that, I was looking around the internet for some practical advice. I found a lot of articles and videos about the percentage of what topics I need to learn or how do I schedule my online exam, but I wanted to know what courses do I need to take? How many hours do I need to study? What practice exam should I look for? And so after passing that certification, I decided to make the video myself. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact courses that I took, the exact practice exams that I took, and some exam tips to help you out. So if that interests you, keep watching. So before I get to all the resources, I wanna talk a little bit about the exam. So there are 66 questions, in 120 minutes to complete it. So for my specific test, the first four items were case studies. So they'll give you a scenario, like there's this company, they have this equipment, they wanna to move to the cloud and they want these certain specifications. And then they come up with a bunch of questions asking you how you would do it and how you would make this and that happen. And for me, I thought that was gonna be later in the exam or maybe they just wouldn't include it but they put it up front. So heads up, if that happens to you, it might fluster you a little bit, but take your time on it, not too long. It actually took me longer than I expected, and I had to kind of make up time on the other questions. But the first section, those case studies are a section in themselves. So you can flag them if you wanna come back to it, but once you're done with those four, or however many they give you, case studies, you won't be able to come back to them. So when you finish that section, you end it, and then you move on to the like multiple choice. And when you move on to the multiple choice, you'll have a, a set number of questions left. Like if you have 45 questions and you have 45 minutes left, pace yourself and make sure you stay on time. I finished with like three minutes left because I got hung up on those case studies. So just be prepared for all of that. Now, enough of all this talk, let's get to the resources. So the place you wanna start and the first course you wanna take is this course by Scott Duffy on Udemy. It's called AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Exam Certification 2021. Now this course will walk you through every concept you need to know for the certification. And if you're fairly new to Azure, this will be a good overview and it'll, it'll allow you to get your hands dirty in the platform. So if you scroll down, you'll see that he touches on all the important topics. All sections are covered. So I would recommend starting here. Now, one thing I don't like about his courses is that sometimes he teaches just what you need to know to pass the exam instead of the whole picture. So he'll be like, hey, this section, um, just remember this, 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 and you'll be good. When really, you won't be good. Now, the good thing about this course is that there are lots of labs for you to go into Azure and get hands-on. So like right here, uh, you'll see hands-on lab, create a VM scale set using a VM image. And then, so you do that, you know, based on the instructions he gives you, and then he'll go over it and show you how to do it in case you had trouble. And so each section is going to end with some kind of hands-on practice. And that's really, really important at the beginning. So take this course, make sure you do all of the hands-on labs, and that'll prepare you a lot for the certification. Now, the next place you should go after you finish this course is to the Microsoft Learn site. So this is Microsoft's own learning platform. And of course, you're going to get the best teaching there for the Azure certifications because, hey, it's Microsoft. So if you go to this site, go up to certifications and browse certifications and choose like over here, choose administrator and Azure, you should see the AZ-104. Uh, let's see, yeah, right here. Exam AZ-104, click on that. And it gives you some details about the exam. It gives you uh, the skills, like the percentage of what skills you need to know. And then down here, here's the, here's what you need to go through. And these are like, and these are text-based courses along with links to labs and things like that. But you want to work through this. So there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six learning paths covering each of the six skill sets you need to know for the certification. And if you click on one, like right here, pre well, that's prerequisites. Let me choose another one. Like right here, deploy and manage Azure Compute Resources, which is X percent of the certifications, which you can see up here if you download the certification skills outline. But if you come down to here, click on this, you'll see within that section, there's a number of modules. So configure virtual machines, um, configure app service plans. So basically you click on one, like configure app service plans. You click on that and you just hit, well, I've already done it, so it doesn't have a start button, but it normally has a start button 
and it'll walk you through each of these sections. So let me click on this one and you'll see it's a text-based course. And then at the end of every one, um, knowledge check. So it, it makes you take a test to prove that you've learned the uh, materials there. And then when you go to summary and resources, there's a learn more section that links to labs and further reading. So I would take this next definitely and work through all six modules. And once you're done with that, you're done with the learning part of it. So you've gone through two courses, you've done lots and lots of hands-on things in Azure, which is really important because you need to know it. And once you're done with these two courses, you're gonna move on to the practice tests. And there's two places that you should be taking that. The first place is Wiz Labs. Wiz Labs always has good practice tests. And um, if you use an app like a Chrome extension like Honey, like this here, it'll search for coupons and these courses are like 10 bucks a piece. And if you don't use an app like Honey, just Google it, you'll find a coupon somewhere. So anyway, you wanna come on here and you wanna find the practice exams, uh, exam AZ 104, Microsoft Azure Administrator practice exam. And by the way, all of these links will be below. And what you get with this is five practice tests, um, a sections test, which I didn't even do, I don't even know what that is, and a free test. So if you don't know if you wanna buy this or not, just do the free test and see if you like it. It's only 40 questions, the others are 55. But these are really good, so you've done all of the learning. These tests will kind of give you an idea where you're at. You probably won't do that good on them, but the more tests you take, the more you'll learn because whether you get a question wrong or right, it gives you a summary of why the right question was right and why the others were wrong. There's lots of diagrams and things that when you take the test, after you're done, you can go and kind of relearn things if you need to. But for the most part, the tests themselves are kind of learning resources. Like when you take them and you review all of the things, it's, it's just like taking another course. So it's really helpful. So I took, um, I took the free test and then three practice tests. So come here, take a few of those, try to pass one. Uh, let's see what I, let's see how I did on my last one. Yeah, I got a 90% on my last one. So these are, these were easier. Um, the other one I got 80%. Um, then a 72. So yeah, the free test, the free test I got a, oh man, that's bad. I got a 36%. First one I took is 36%, then a 78, then a 72, 80, and a 90. So I got gradually better as I took these tests. So buy this Wiz Labs practice tests bundle, take a couple of these tests, and then you wanna move on to the fourth resource, which is the secret sauce, okay? This is invaluable. If you don't buy any tests anywhere else, make sure you get this one. And it is also on Udemy. It's called AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Practice Test by Advanced Education. Now, what makes these tests so amazing is that they are almost word for word and structured like the actual certification. Like I took, I think I took all six of these practice tests and I failed all of them. They're really hard. But when I went to take the certification, a lot of the questions I saw in there were actually on these tests. Like this, this is a golden resource here. If I go to the course, I'll show you how bad I did. Um, I never passed one of these and I passed the exam with a pretty good score. So that, that says a lot for how good these are and how difficult they are. So I got a 64 on the first one and the sixth test, I got a 62. And I think all the way through it, I got low 60s. And just for an example of, of how good the, the overview of each question is, check this out. So like number one, uh, you deploy an AKS cluster named cluster one that uses an IP address shown in the following table. So here's the IP addresses, some more questions. Um, I got that one wrong and here it is, explanation. This is correct because of this reason. All three of these are correct because of this reason. And then here, question two, it just gives you really good explanations as to what, why the right question is right and why the wrong ones are wrong. But this course is a must. Whoever put it together really, knew the, the certification exams really well. So make sure you do this. And this is actually gonna be the last set of practice exams that you take. At this point, you're ready to go, but there's one more thing you need to do. The day before your exam, you need to come to this YouTube channel, and I'm gonna link this below too. I found this, I think the morning of, or the day before, and 
what it is, is there's this YouTube channel, I, Idea, I, don't, I guess that's how you pronounce that, but there's a playlist here of like five to seven minute videos with Azure questions on it that also are very similar to the questions you're going to see on the exam. It's like a, a quick run through of all of these scenarios. So this one video might go over this question and um, another question and that's it. It's two questions. So like right here, move the storage account from RG1 to RG11. Can you do that? They're in different subscriptions. This one's in North Europe. This one's in South Central. Hey, this is a tricky question. You're going to see it on the exam. And she explains this really well, really concisely. And you'll see down in the comments, everybody loves it. But like this other question is, add a backend pool to the internal load balancer. What permission Mark will need following the principle of least privilege? And so... I went through these, I think it was early morning of the exam or the day before the exam. I went through all, I think, seven, uh, 22 videos. And I think I even listened to them on the way to the exam, which you shouldn't do. You should be clear headed going to the exam. But uh, yeah, they're like four to seven minutes and they're just jam packed. So when you're done with all of your practice exams and you get close to the exam, like the day before, make sure you run through all of these and they'll help refresh you on all the things you're gonna to need to know for the exam. Finally, some tips for your exam day. Number one, take your exam as early as possible so you'll have a clear head. If you're doing stuff all morning and all afternoon, you try to take your exam at like 4 p.m., you won't be as sharp as you would be early in the morning. So try to schedule it early in the morning. Next, try not to study on exam day. Like study up until the, you know, the night before, but on exam day, try not to cram and, and put all that information in your head last minute. Just keep a clear head for the morning, grab some coffee, whatever you got to do, and go in there and take your test. Next, don't rush through the case studies, especially if they come first on your exam. Of course, you want to pace yourself and make sure that you're going to finish the exam in time, but there's a tendency to try to rush through them because they're first. Like I got my first question and actually the first one was the hardest. I read through the case study and I tried to, you know, work out all the details. And then I got to the questions and I couldn't answer the first one. I was like, I don't know what the answer is. And I started thinking like, oh my goodness, the clock is ticking and I, I'm not even past the first question. It's okay. I think it took me like 20 or 30 minutes to get through those first four. So take your time there and make sure you read through the case study well. And the last tip, the most important tip, is regarding flagging questions. Now, if you've done any certifications in the past, you know that you can flag a question and come back to it later. But here's the thing. When you flag a question, always be sure you choose an answer also. Like if I'm going to flag this question and come back to it later, I'm also going to say, I think it's this one. I'm going to choose it and I'll still come back. That way, if you get to the end of the exam and you have one minute left, at least you put answers on all of those because you won't have time to go back. If you leave them blank, you're going to get them all wrong. So if you're going to flag a question, be sure you answer it too. You can come back, but just put an answer. And that's all I got for you today. Hopefully this was helpful and this information gets you to a passing score. If so, let me know below. If you found this video helpful, click that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.